Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. We're out in the field this morning at a guy's farm and we've been fighting with some auto track issues on an 8285R. And the customer didn't realize exactly what he had when we got here. But um, <clears throat> he's got RTK, an aftermarket RTK on this uh, tractor. <clears throat> and so we've been battling this for a little while and we're gonna go through this and look at it real quick. and. And I believe we've got some CAN bus voltage issues as a communication voltage problem between controllers and GPS receiver and steering controller and that kind of thing. So we're going to dig into it a little bit deeper and show you what we got. And uh, man, it is dry out here in southwest Oklahoma. We're expecting to get a little bit of rain today. Um, this customer that we're working on today has got some really really super nice irrigated cotton and then he's also got some fields that are dry land and I want to show you real quick this dry land cotton just hadn't had any rain to speak of not enough to to make it go and these plants are really really super small and man they're doing the best they can to try to try to put bowls on and uh wow little bitty bowls little bitty plants with hardly any rain whatsoever out here and uh it's pretty sad but that's what we're facing this year um anyway we're gonna dig into this tractor a little bit more and show you what we're dealing with here today if i turn the key on i'm gonna show you what's going on here he's basically running auto track through the command center Okay, and it's tell, giving us our auto track warning. And as soon as I hit the tab there, it goes to our main screen. And our GPS receiver, it's a little hard to see, but it's not online now. Okay, and then he's also running RTK using a um, Sierra wireless RTK with a base station around here somewhere. <clears throat> and so this is what happens. So I keep getting these warnings and they'll keep popping up there and and just randomly giving us fits so so you just knock the steering controller offline okay so the steering controller is not on the communication link anymore okay and if i go to codes and go to the information center there we go again it's giving us a warning again if i go to diagnostics tab the only thing that I've really seen under the diagnostics tab, man, that thing's throwing so many communication warnings I can't even keep up. So I'm gonna see if I can get the diagnostic tab pulled up here where we can see. And I just can't even get there fast enough. So the only thing we seen was the very top line up here had a question mark there okay and the question mark was next to the itc receiver okay and uh then a couple things we've done tried to swap out receivers and now we knocked the steering controller offline again it's just going nuts okay and so we did swap out the 3000 receiver here with a known good receiver and still had the same results so we've got our voltmeter hooked in at the back of the tractor and i want to show you real quick it's a real quick way to check your can high and your can low voltages and it's still you can hear the alarms going off in the cab it's still giving us warnings that we've got controllers that are not wanting to communicate and and uh, so I've seen this before, and I want to show you real quick our can high voltage there should be somewhere around two and a half volts. And it's jumping everywhere from 8.4, and then sometimes nine volts, and then sometimes down to seven. And so we're just plugged in right here at the back of this implement connector, looking at the can high voltage through the, through the can high pin in the back of the connector. Okay, so go ahead and switch it to can low. We're going to switch over and check can low. Right there. And we're on our can low now, and you can see how high our can low is. Our can, 
can low is really, really super high too. We should be seeing like 2.3, 2.4 volts, okay? I think what we have here is we have a failed implement connector on the back of the tractor. And just real quick, I've seen this before when these implement connectors fail and causes our can high and can low voltages to be completely, completely out of spec. Um, it's, it, and I've seen a lot of guys do a lot of different things, but that is a quick way to check can high and can low voltage, which is the communication link between all of the controllers and the GPS. And so what I've seen with this so many times is that as soon as we have a problem with that can, the first thing that goes is the GPS receiver and or the steering controller. Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and swap that um, CAN bus terminator, which is built in this implement connector. Okay, we're going to go ahead and swap that out and see what our results are. Um, I carry one of these on the truck all the time. That's an RE568839. Pretty common on most of your 8R tractors for sure um, using this implement connector. And what I mean by implement connector, so if you open that, there's a plug there, okay? And that would be what you would plug, you know, a, an AccuDepth plow or an air seeder or anything that runs on the CAN bus the implement that you have plugged in. So even when this is not being used, okay, it's still a CAN bus terminator too that's built in the back side of this connector housing. And so that terminator is used to cancel out messages that are being uh, transferred between controllers uh, constantly when the key is on on this tractor, okay? And uh, so like I said earlier, the first thing that you normally see go when you have CAN bus issues, CAN bus voltage problems is the GPS receiver. Okay, and then the next thing that we've seen on this tractor, uh, the GPS receiver, the 3000 receiver uh, was gone. Okay, we couldn't get it to communicate on the CAN bus, but then our message that kept popping up on the display kept telling us that our steering controller was no longer communicating. And I've seen this before, and I've also seen guys go ahead and swap out a uh, steering controller thinking that the steering controller was the issue. Okay, and so just keep in mind that a real quick check is to check the CAN bus voltage at the rear of the tractor, CAN high and CAN low. Uh, they should equal five volts when you look at CAN low and look at CAN high, okay? And we may talk about that a little bit later, um, but we're gonna go ahead and swap this out real quick. We got the implement connector replaced on the back of the tractor, turned the key on a couple times and cycled the power and finally got rid of all of our CAN bus problems. Our receiver is back online. RTK is back online. Steering controller is back online. Everything appears to be normal now. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna show you real quick on the back of the tractor. We'll look at this CAN high and CAN low voltage again. See if they equal somewhere around that five volts that I was talking about earlier. Okay, and so we're in our can high now. And if you can see that on the meter there, we're right around 2.45 to 2.47 volts. Okay, let's go ahead and check our can low. Okay, I'm checking our can low now. We're right around 2.5 volts. So we're right around that five volt mark. And so show us there. So there's our can low, right? Okay, mm -hmm. now let's go to the can high. And there's our can high. That can create a, a lot of problems in thinking that you have a GPS receiver that's bad and or a steering controller that's bad. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this tractor and run it a little bit and make sure that the auto track works like it's supposed to. Auto track line here, and tried it a few times and we've got a full signal of RTK there, as you can see. So everything seems to have returned back to normal after swapping out the implement connector real quick i wanted you to see this and check this out so i've got a mobile device here that works pretty good too when we're working on these ams problems and especially receiver problems and what i've got here is i've got a box that i've rigged up that's got a complete green star harness in the box that would be on the 8285r okay so it's a complete green star harness in this box and where i 
can hook up a display and hook up a receiver real quick and we've got a power inverter inside of this box so that we can switch over to 12 volts and plug in a cord and get power so that we can test the receiver and or display. A recap on the 8285R with the uh, GPS problem and then also losing communication with the GPS receiver and the RTK unit and then also losing uh, communication with the steering controller on the tractor. So we verified the problem and then we swapped out receivers and tried another receiver with no luck and then um, we, 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 start, we unplugged a few controllers and then we decided to go ahead and check the CAN bus voltage, the communication voltage at the rear of the tractor at the implement connector. And so what we found at the implement connector is that the CAN low and the CAN high were really, really high voltage, um, which was not correct. We should be around five volts when we add those two together, the CAN high and the CAN low. <clears throat> and so uh, we did discover that when we plugged in a new implement connector, which is also the CAN bus terminator that cancels out all of the voltage signals between controllers, that when we plugged the new one in that our can voltage was normal and what i mean by normal is that our can high was around two and a half volts and our our can low was around that two and a half volt which corrected our problem and then our gps receiver came back online and tracked satellites fine and then the rtk came back up fine and then also we had no more issues with losing communication with the steering controller so long story short is the implement connector i believe fixed our problem uh, the customer reported back that the tractor's running fine and the auto track's working great so just a quick tip to always remember if you're having that sort of a problem uh, with can bus voltage and a gps problem uh, the gps receiver seems to be the first thing that gets lost on the can bus uh, whenever we're having uh, can bus voltage issues so larry the tractor guy signing out hey guys check out larry the tractor guy videos here other videos here subscribe here and buy all your john deere parts here we'll make it work i think gonna have to make it. we'll make it work come on let's go <laughs> we need you need some bloopers. food y'all already, already, already burning me out he's sitting in the sun over here man